Hi and welcome comic book fans to another suddenlycomics.com video and today it's another in my series of uh, features about characters from the upcoming The Suicide Squad movie written and directed by James Gunn. So who are we going to be looking at today? Well we're going to look at three of the characters. Uh, first up we're going to talk about Mongal. Uh, then we're going to talk about the thinker and then finally we're going to talk about the latest incarnation of Celeste Stil Sylvester Stallone, King Shark. Okay, off we go. So, Mongal. Mongal is the daughter of one of Superman's uh, main, main enemies, uh, uh, Mongol. So Mongol the Elder had uh, two children and what we know about Mongol the Elder is he's got very little imagination because he called his two children Mongol <laughs> Mongol the Younger and Mongal. Okay, so um, Mongal uh, first appeared in this comic, uh, Showcase, Showcase 95. Um, she had a fairly short existence in comics. Um, she appeared in a couple of storylines, but then eventually uh, she got killed uh, by her own brother. Okay, so uh, Mongal is being played in the films. Uh, Mongal is being played in the films by Mei Ling Ong. Uh, Mei Ling is a uh, black belt in martial arts. So um, she should be able to do her own stunts, I suspect. Uh, right, do I think Mongal is going to get killed? Well, she is dead in the comic books. Um, yeah, tough one. I think because of her alien nature and her fitness, I'm, I'm going to guess she's going to survive. Okay, yeah, I think she'll survive. She may get taken over by a Starro um, and take the Starro back to her own planet. I don't know, that's a possible storyline. Okay, on to The Thinker. Well, The Thinker, um, I, there have been four thinkers in comics. Uh, one of them was a sort of Batman hero with telepathy. I don't I don't think it's him. Uh, I think he was called Des Connor. Um, not, not the singer, Des O'Connor, another one. Uh, one of the thinkers is unnamed. Uh, the other two uh, are both called Cliff. So I think it's one of the two cliffs that's going to be appearing as the thinker. The first cliff was Clifford DeVoe, who was uh, a lawyer. And his first appearance was in 1943 in All Flash 12. Um, and he was a, uh, a villain who, whose, main, uh, whose main nemesis was the Flash. Um, he developed a device called a thinking cap, which uh, improved his intelligence. However, the thinking cap um, eventually gave him cancer, which killed him. Clifford DeVoe, in later, later in the comics history, did actually uh, become force, part of Task Force X um, in order to try and redeem himself and get rid of his prison sentence. And um, he was apparently killed by the weasel, but then did reappear again later alive, only to be killed by cancer. So there is a bit of, I've mentioned this before, there's a bit of a history between the weasel and the thinker. Okay, the next cliff is called Cliff Montgomery. Uh, his first appearance was in Firestorm 1, and he was an intellectual bully, um, and he bullied... Um, Firestorm at Vandermeer University. Um, it's possibly he came across the weasel as well because the weasel was at Vandermeer University. Um, he, he took out, he t played a prank on uh, Firestorm, cut a strap on his on his American football helmet. Accidentally, um, Cliff Cliff Carmichael's cousin took the helmet instead of Firestorm and ended up breaking his neck. Uh, this caused uh, Cliff to have psychological problems. He went off to some mental institution where he ended up uh, getting the thinking cap from the first Cliff. This one also <laughs> appeared in the Suicide Squad 
um, and eventually ended up getting killed. So in in the comics, both the thinkers called Cliff are dead. Right. Do I think the thinker is going to get killed? Well, yes, I do. He's being played by um, by an ex Doctor Who, uh, Peter Capaldi. Uh, a really great actor who I loved in the uh, series The Thick of It. So I don't think Peter Capaldi is going to have signed up for more than one film. So I think, and also I think the weasel thing, I think the weasel's going to survive and I think the thinker is going to get killed. Right, that brings us to the last character, uh, but by me, no means the least. And here we are talking about King Shark. So King Shark's first cameo appearance is here in um, Superboy Zero. And it is just a cameo appearance. He appears on the last page and we just see his teeth. OK, um, he is um, he is the ki he is the son of the uh, shark god, um, apparently. Um, he committed a number of murders in Hawaii. Um, he then goes on to how and he's, oh his first full appearance again is in Superboy, uh, Superboy number nine, um, and I'm going to show off another comic because I've got it. Um, and is and I've got his Superboy number sixty seven, which's got a really nice uh, King Shark cover on it. Okay, um, King Shark uh, has been in a number of. Uh, um, animated films and he's also appeared in the i think it was the flash tv series in in one of the animated series uh, there's a sort of tongue-in-cheek thing where john constantine suggests that king shark is his ex <laughs> i'm not making it up uh, there's some pictures here um so this is so there we go um king shark uh does join the suicide squad um he's uh in the movies he's being voiced by sylvester stallone which i think is a great choice um and in the trailer we see him ripping somebody apart so i suspect king shark could end up being the big sort of uh success um of this film and i think we'll be seeing him again so I don't think he's going to get killed. Okay then, comic book fans, I hope you've run, enjoyed this quick run through of these three characters from the upcoming Suicide Squad movie. We've only got a couple of months to wait. I think it comes out in August. So uh, enough said. Please like and subscribe. Bye.